guys and welcome back to my channel. Wow, it's been so long I don't even know if I remember how to do this. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you if you're one of my subscribers. Uh, thank you for being patient with me as I have not uploaded in a bit. Life's been a little nuts, um, but I just want to remind you guys if you're ever looking for like updates on me and what's going on, you know, where I've been, what I'm up to, um, I always update in my Instagram stories. So that's at Planning with Cass on Instagram. So definitely go um, check that out if you're interested. A lot has happened since we have last met. <laughs> A lot has happened since my uh, last video. So let me just give a brief update while we get into this plan with me, which is part of our Plan Miss series here on my channel at Planning with Cass. Last year, I um, almost drove myself mad with trying to do one video every day in the month of December. So this year, um, I decided to do 12 days of plan miss. And I think we're all going to be just fine with that because it's a lot more attainable for me with everything going on right now. So before we get into it, let me kind of show you what I am going to be working with today. I have not filmed a not only a YouTube video here, but a plan with me in so long, it's insane. So, um, I have a couple oops sheets here and I made these and these are available in my Etsy shop, which is something that has happened since I last recorded. Um, I have an Etsy shop now, so if you would like to check that out, um, it is planningwithcast.etsy.com. I will have it linked in the description. These are some colorful functional boxes that I made to go with this sticker sheet. So this one is available in the shop and this is printed on clear sticker paper. So we're actually planning on white paper, which is crazy if you've been here before because you know that I'm obsessed with Lights Planner Action's blackout inserts and I still am and always will be, but I just wanted to change it up and I'm thinking I'm going to start kind of like alternating between, you know, one week I'll do blackout, the next week I'll do white, maybe I'll do black and white. Just wanted to kind of change it up, but I purchased these printables from uh, Lights Planner Action. Not sponsored, not affiliated in any way. However, my friend Queen has a code if you would like to save a little money over at Lights Planner Action. Her, her code is Queen15. I will have that in the description as well. Um, so it's just this layout that I have here on the blackout, but in white. And I bought the printables, um, and I printed them out on my decent paper here. Um, and I will link in the description also what that paper is not sponsored, affiliated in any way. Purchased it myself, just to kind of pass that along to you guys. Um, and this is the paper that was recommended to me, I believe, by Shauna Klingerman. So actually, if she has an affiliate link, I'm going to put that there to kind of give her credit because... I'm pretty sure I found this paper through her. So I have this just full vertical columns. Um, it has a nice script font here at the top. It's undated and it has grid. And ever since I went to the grid pattern, I don't think I can ever go back. I did find it very difficult to use vertical columns that were just blank. Like I liked having it blank because I could really have freedom to do what I wanted, but it just felt overwhelming and it was hard to like write straight lines and everything. So I decided to go with the grid and I'm obsessed. So I'm going to be using this sheet. This is an oop sheet from um, my Patreon. So for the month of November, my patrons um, starting at, it's not all the tiers, but there's a, you know, one tier and then another tier you get stickers every month. Um, and this was the sheet that they got as part of their reward for being a patron. So if you're interested in further supporting me, definitely go check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash planning with casts. I feel like I'm just plugging all kinds of stuff today. I promise I'm going to stop, but everything that I'm talking about will be in the description. So this is an oop sheet. I had the wrong cut setting, so it cut way too far um, through the sheet. And same with here, which is fine. They're totally fine. Um, and then this is... The full sheet I'm going to be using and as far as washi I have a few here that I'm looking at using so I'm obviously going for this is my whole vibe for like home decor I mean that's what inspired this anyway um, this year is really not so much Christmassy but just winter and like cozy and just and I just realized that I forgot to put those two quotes 
on this sheet. <laughs> Gonna have to do that. See, this is why we do this. Okay, so, so I'm using this because this, I didn't realize that when I was making this that I forgot to put these two quotes in there. So it's a noob sheet, it is mine and I will be using it. But if you purchase this from my shop, it will have all of this plus these two quotes, warm and cozy and sugar and spice and the font matches the font on the date covers. Um, and as far as washi, I'm trying to figure out what exactly I want to do. This purple matches really, really well with these colors. It's very pretty. I also have to kind of like divide things if I want. I have this clear black bad bow washi from Honeybee Shop. And I haven't used this in a long time because I've been using the blackout paper. And so obviously when I use blackout paper, I can't use clear washi with black because it wouldn't show up. So I'm thinking about using this to just kind of like break things up. We'll see how it goes. I also, so I was looking at these and these are from Simply Gilded. I got them last year and they're so beautiful. I mean, it's really just like reminds me of snow and it's very wintry. I don't know if the blue quite matches but I feel like it matches enough to where like it could work so we'll see and then I also have this this is one of my favorite washi ever um it's just white and it has little like x's and polka dots um it's just very I don't know I love it I'm obsessed with little like x patterns um and this is from Muse Lab on Etsy Another great small business you should go check out. So that's the washi I'm thinking about working with. I'm gonna just kind of see what happens as we go here. Um, and I am out of white out and didn't realize it, so we're gonna have to improvise. I have this tape from Michaels um, that I'm just gonna kind of use to cover up these scripts because if I don't use this and I just use these date covers, they're on clear paper. So it's not gonna, it's, yeah. So <laughs> I'm just gonna see how this looks. I'm just gonna try it on one for now. All right, so you can still see the text through that. So I may need to go in with just like a white gel pen, but let's just try it. So this is the Monday box. Yeah, you can see through it. That's going to bother me. I mean, when the lights aren't shining directly on it, I'm sure you really can't see it. But look, it picked up the ink. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we should have... Just kind of stick that back on there. We should have a white gel pen. Obviously, if you have white out, this is a much easier process, but... I didn't realize that I was out. What self-respecting planner babe doesn't keep extra white out laying around? I'm kind of ashamed of myself, to be honest. I swore that I had one, and I'm like looking through all my stuff. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh, there was a bag on my planner cart that had um, stuff in it, and I didn't realize this was in the bottom. So I'm not sure how much is in here, but we're gonna roll with it. This makes things so much easier. Let's get rid of that and let's go for it. All right, y'all, let's try this again. I'm actually gonna remove these sheets from my planner and just flat plan because it's just a lot easier to not have all this stuff in the way. That's better. Okay, so I just decided that I'm going to use a strip of washi on the top, like right to the edge of these boxes, and then put the date covers actually in here. Because I'm pretty sure this washi, actually it might be too thin. Let's see. 
Oh, it might just work. There's a little bit of extra, which I don't like. I'm very particular, if you can't tell. Um, so I think I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to kind of butt the sparkles up to the top of the boxes and then I can just cut off the excess. Before we do the other side, let's put down that date cover and see how it looks. I think it's going to work. Out kind of, oh, I, this is where I had the gel pen. I was like, why is it? You can just kind of rub that off. There we go. That gel pen that I tried to do before, that, that won't work. In. There's a cat hair. The amount of times I have had to get a cat hair or piece of fuzz off of a sticker. It's a little ridiculous. Not sure if I got the whole thing, but you know what? It is what it is. Perfect. All right, so now that that's gonna work, I'm just gonna finish up this side and then I'll move on, do the washi over here and do the date covers. And I'm going to speed you right through that. some old oop stickers they're really not that oop. I mean they're not that bad let's see if I can get them off because this reusable sticker album thingy doesn't have the best paper it can be very difficult and I don't know what I did with my tweezers Okay, so the very edge of this is not sticking, so I'm going to do one of these. Got my glue stick. Carve out just a little bit. I got this thing at uh, Dollar Tree. I don't even remember what it's actually for or what it's called. But I knew I could use it for something in my planners or this edge to press it out. Perfect. All right. Get off. Make sure to put the cap on because it's extremely sharp. All right. And then that glue is going to dry. We can just kind of... Okay. Now we're ready to actually get in and start decorating so I can talk to you guys. How are you guys doing? Um, again, I'm so sorry that I've been absent. Um... I guess I can try to give you a little bit of a life update. That's kind of hard to do because it's been like a month. Um, but I'll just give you kind of a general overview um, of what's been going on with me. So um, I have not been active on YouTube, but I have been active on Instagram and my podcast, Pixels and Planners. I do an episode every two weeks, so I have been consistent with that. Um... And I've just had a lot going on. I, as you guys know, if you've been here before, 
um, I've talked about before, I do work a full-time job and I also work um, a part-time job. I am a, um, I don't like to disclose exactly what I do just for, you know, privacy sake, but I work in marketing and public relations um, in education. And then I also am an adjunct uh, college instructor. And so um, I have kind of a lot going on. I'm also a freelance writer. And uh, now I am a small business owner. I have an Etsy shop. I have lots of stuff going on. And um, this semester has been stressful doesn't even begin to describe it honestly because you know I, th I think we all don't give ourselves enough credit like everything that we went through in 2020 and like the fact that we're still here is you know just <laughs> an accomplishment in and of itself right so okay we made it through um COVID is still not over by the way so I don't want to get into all that but um it's been very stressful you know returning to um you know somewhat of an in-person model with work uh, luckily for me it is more of a hybrid model so i'm not going in five days a week um, but returning to the classroom in person was definitely nerve-wracking um, because i hadn't been up in front of students since i guess it was like december of 2019. um and it was just very, it was very surreal. It was very strange. And, uh, you know, like many, many people, I'm sure my mental health was not great um, during that period. And just trying to like return to somewhat of a normal, which I hate saying, because it's never going to be the way it was before. It's just not like the world is, the world is different. We've been through this massive we're still going through it, pandemic, and so many things have changed about the way that we live and the way we work, and to just expect people to go back to how it was before is, like, insulting. I mean, you can't. Things are different, so it was just very stressful, um, but I have achieved a lot throughout the past few months, and I'm very proud of myself, and as far as, like, opening the sticker shop... <laughs> I really didn't think I was going to do it this year. I had told myself in January, and I told my mom this too, I told her to hold me to it, because I started kind of playing around with design. You know, I work in marketing, public relations, uh, communications, I've always done graphic design and been very creative. Um, I'm a photographer as well. Oh yeah, that's another thing I do on, I, <laughs> on the side. I um, take pictures of people and get paid to do it. So, um, can you tell why I'm always tired? So, um, I told my mom, you know, hold me to it, but I want to at least open an Etsy and sell digitals this year. Like, I really want to push myself, um, because I'm creating this stuff that I'm really happy with and I would like to share it with other people and, you know, just kind of see where it goes and, Throughout this year, I've really discovered how much, I mean, I have, I started 2021 with literally not knowing how to operate my Cricut, like took it out of the box for the first time, had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And it has been a year of a lot of learning and personal growth. And I'm very proud of that. I have spent countless hours here in my office learning new things. And I, I like to always be, you know, constantly learning. It makes me feel accomplished. It makes me feel good to like learn a new skill. I'm always trying to do that in some capacity. So, um, you know, it was the cricket and it was obviously the first thing was like, well, I want to learn how to make stickers because you know, I'm always in my planner. I'm always buying stickers from other people. And um, I wanted to learn how to make my own. And so it's been a, a lot of trial and error this year. And a lot of learning and a lot of mistakes. But I have gotten to the point where I have now opened an Etsy shop. And I had eight orders 
on my first day, which was unbelievable for me. Like I'm, I'm just so grateful. And I know when I start seeing pictures of my stickers in other people's planners, I'm going to start crying. Like it, it's just unbelievable. And it just makes me so happy that people want to purchase what I've created. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm having fun continuing to learn. I'm sure I'm going to look back Maybe not, but I feel like I'm going to look back at this one day and be like, wow, look at those ugly stickers. I mean, I don't think so. I think they're really cute. I don't see myself ever thinking these are ugly, but just thinking like, oh, wow, look how far I've come kind of thing. I hope that I get to that point, but I'm very proud of these. I think they're really freaking cute. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to use these. Probably should have done that there. Mm, I think I'm actually going to use, because I know I have a meeting on this day. Shoot. Ugh, you know when you lay a sticker down crooked and it just hurts your entire soul? Oh, and you know when you go to peel it up? Oh my god, it's crooked. It's going to bother my entire soul. All right, we're just gonna have to pull the band-aid now. I don't wanna rip it past this point. All right, that'll be fine, I can cover it. I might use a half box, actually. We're just gonna do some layering here to kind of help cover that up. Hey. It happens. Maybe I'll use one of these donuts that I'm mildly obsessed with. I had so much fun designing these. So something I've been struggling with as well and I wanted to talk to you guys about because I'm sure you struggle with this too. Um, I think it's kind of a common thing is just comparing myself to other people and I've been like driving myself crazy with it <laughs> um and honestly that was the reason that I thought I wouldn't be able to launch this sticker shop this year was because I was looking at what other people were doing and seeing how they were doing it and thinking like well, I'm not going to be able to do that. Like the the biggest thing, like the first thing was, well, I don't have an iPad and I can't use Procreate. So how am I going to do it? Because everyone uses Procreate. And I got really discouraged by that because I was like, well, I mean, I can't, I can't afford an iPad right now. And I even got like Procreate Pocket, which is the one on your phone, which I will say for a phone app, it's pretty impressive, but the screen is just too small. Like, I just, I, I couldn't do it. And I was just thinking, like, I I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't have an iPad. So, like, I'm very, um, I guess, well-versed in Photoshop. But I didn't have, like, a drawing pad or anything to, like, I was using a mouse. <laughs> like, that's all I could do. Um, which is fine for things like this. Like, creating day covers, that's fine. But doing things like this... It's almost impossible. So I was really struggling. And then um, I actually had told my husband that I wanted some kind of drawing pad to, you know, connect to my computer and use Photoshop. Because why am I trying to, like, use Procreate when, like, just because everybody else is using it when I know Photoshop? That's what I know. That's what I love. Why don't I just try to stick with that for now? Um... And it's kind of a long story, but it ended up that his friend gave him a drawing pad. Like, it, the way it worked out was very, very strange. Um, but he, you know, he got it for me. And that was just, it was just amazing. It was awesome. And I love it so much. And it has really, like, been a game changer. And I'm so thankful for it. 
and they're relatively inexpensive so um because i looked it up to see how much it was and uh yeah relatively inexpensive very nice it gets the job done i love it i don't have any complaints i mean obviously i don't really have anything to compare it to but i love it and so that's when things really kind of like opened up for me and I got just like obsessed with designing and learning how to draw um yeah it's it's been really it's been really fun it's been it's been great to learn a new skill mm, I don't think I want to use that Maybe like a strip of this. I just feel like I want to layer this over something. Mm -mm. Oh, actually, I like that, but not with the tree stick the tree down here on that works right don't overthink it it's just a sticker oh that's so cute yeah I like I really like this particular wash I like to rip it and have the jagged edges I just think it's so cute so I'm just kind of kind of But yeah, I am really, um, I'm really grateful to everyone who supports me. Um, and I'm just, honestly, I mean, I'm not trying to like toot my own horn, but I'm very proud of myself. You know, as you guys know, if you listen to my podcast, um, I struggle with my mental health a lot. And, um, you know, just seeing all that I've accomplished this year just makes me very proud. And I'm kind of... Not kind of. I'm very excited to see what the future holds. And, you know, see how much I can grow and how much more I can learn. This might be kind of cool layered over this, right? Screw it. Let's try it. Yeah. That's cool. It's a little bit crooked, but you, you know what? It's fine. Now I want to do this really cute hot cocoa. Actually, that might be kind of cute, right? Now it's deciding, do I want to use any of these bat bows? just think they're so cute I never get to use them in my catch-all because like I said I'm always using the blackout paper but like I could even break up this box and write something here I think it's cute and so I'm gonna do it <laughs> I'm struggling today with laying things down straight y'all what in the world you know I have something big down here oh so I'm gonna kind of section it off freaking hair and a piece of glitter oh but like I was saying about you know comparing yourself to others I just I don't know what it is about like my art and my stickers that I am just I'm really bad about comparing myself to other people and getting really down on myself Normally, I'm not like that as far as, like, my personality or the way I look or whatever. I'm like, you know, I'm me. I'm unique. I love me. Like, I'm not, you know, I don't think about, like, oh, I wish I was like that person. I don't think that way at all. 
I don't know why with art and with stickers, I guess it's because when you're on Instagram a lot and you're seeing other shops or you're on Etsy and you're just seeing these other shops and they're like, you know, making really cute stuff and you look at it and you're like, oh, I can never do that. And you just kind of start to, um, I don't even know, like self-sabotage, I guess, like. Even sometimes I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm not even going to try because I know I can't do that. And so I'm working really, really hard to stop comparing myself to other people and looking at what other people are designing and what they're doing and how amazing of an artist they are and all this and just focusing on me and what I'm making. And for me, my rule is with my shop. I am never going to sell anything that I would not personally use in my planner. Like, I'm not going to sell something that I am not happy with. I am a perfectionist to a fault. It is sometimes detrimental. Um, but, you know, if I didn't like... Like, I created this stuff, and that's part of the reason I decided, well, just open the shop. is because I'm creating this stuff, and I'm like, I really like this. You know, like, I, I want to use this in my planner. Um, so if you're not, like, if you're not happy with what you're creating and you wouldn't use it in your planner, why would you want to sell it to somebody else? So that's just kind of my thing. So I'm like, if anybody buys it, it's just a bonus. I'm making this stuff for me because I like it and I want to improve upon my skills and keep learning how to draw new things so I just need to compare myself to myself I am the only competition that I should have so if you are somebody who compares yourself to others as I do I know it's easier said than done but try not to do it because there's only one you and nobody else can make things exactly like you. Nobody else has the exact skill set that you have. We are all extremely unique. This is really fucking cute though. Like, bitch. All right, so I already have the donut there, but I kind of want to do this donut again, maybe on Sunday. Where else do we need a box? I could put one here, like a next week box. All right, guys, so I obviously just kind of wrote in what I knew was coming up in advance um, because I am filming this a little bit in advance of when you were seeing it and things change. So I don't like to write too much, but I know I have a meeting on this day and I know I have something on this day. So I wanted to just kind of go ahead and get that in there and then I left myself plenty of room to write. I know that this week in particular will be pretty busy um, for me, so I wanted to give myself plenty of room. I am so happy with how it came out. So let's go ahead and pop it into the planner. All right, guys. So I love it. I hope you guys love it too. I am, yeah, I'm very excited to actually um, use it and write more in it. Um, and I'm trying to be uh, better about posting after the pens over on Instagram, so be sure again to follow me there. I used to be really shy about sharing after the pens because I put like work stuff and kind of personal things in here sometimes, but something I thought of one day 
is, well, if I have something personal, rather than doing the whole blurring out the photo, which I personally can't stand, I just take a piece of washi and cover up whatever it is that's like sensitive information. So like just for the photo. So I'll take just a little piece like this. So say I didn't want you guys to know about my last class. You just take a little piece of washi and cover it up. And then you just pull it back up when you're done with the picture. So that's what I've been doing. I'm trying to post more over there. I think after this semester ends, I'm going to feel a lot better. Um, as far as like not being as slammed busy all the time. I'll still be busy, but I'm hoping it'll be a little bit better. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not. Turn on notifications by clicking the bell so you never miss an upload. And yeah, all the links to everything I talked about will be in the description, including uh, a link to where to buy these stickers. And yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. But thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Still a piece of garbage. Mm -hmm.